Hi guys! Today I have the finale for my Finish 7 by Spring. This was a super, super successful project. I'm so excited to show you my final progress for everything. If you missed the intro and the first update, I will link those down below, as well as my Project Pan playlist so you can see what other projects I have been getting up to. And also, I got a haircut. I got kind of, I guess, a bob, right? I don't know. I, I was not liking the length that I had it and I just wanted it shorter and yeah, I really like it. But yeah, let's go ahead and get right on into my progress. So I just want to say I know that spring technically started a while ago, but when I first started this project I said I would have it go until the first week of April. So around April 8th I finished this project. I was able to hit my goal on everything I put in this project. I'm gonna start by showing you everything that I had completed for my goals in the first update. I'm just gonna run by those really quickly. Okay, so last time I hit my goal on four products, I had finished up the e.l.f. HD under eye setting powder. That second line right there is where I was in the intro and now it is all gone. I finished up the Urban Decay Craze Highlighter. I finished up the ColourPop Lumiere lipstick. I cannot roll this up any further. When I started the project, I was at that top line, and yeah, it's all gone. I also had a goal of hitting pan on the Urban Decay Shadow in Half Baked, and last time I had already reached that goal. Now, I did have a product, what was it called? The... Tanya Burr Lip Gloss and Smile Dream Sparkle, and I worked on that for a whole month. You could barely see any progress. I was so sick of it, I didn't enjoy it, and I decluttered it my last update. In its place, I had picked one of the Smashbox Contour Palette shades. I had picked the highlight shade, which was right here, and as you can see, it is all done. I am so happy with this. I actually did not like this highlight shade at all. It was really dark for a highlight shade, which is weird because I don't remember it being so dark, but I had never truly used it as much as I did when I was finishing it up now. I'm going to insert a picture of where I was when I added it into the project, and yeah, I'm just really happy with that. I'm actually adding this whole palette into my Project 2017 pan, and I want to finish up this entire palette. I had in the Kiko Intense Color Eyeliner in the shade 03 and I'm going to show you when I first started this was my line so I had a lot to go and I finished this. This is where it ended up and I know it looks like I still have a little bit of product in this but this does not sharpen anymore and it got super super dry. It's completely dried out but even if it wasn't dried out, I can't sharpen it anymore. I used this every single day under my lower lash line, kind of instead of putting eyeshadow down there. And I really enjoyed it. I wouldn't repurchase this. It was kind of something I was just trying to use up. But I didn't hate it. I definitely enjoyed using it up. And lastly, I had another shadow in my Naked palette that I wanted to hit pan on. I wanted to hit pan on the shade Naked. I will insert a clip of where I was in the beginning and where I was in the first update. Eight. And this is where I am now. So I do have pan, and also, if I show you the side there, there is such a big dip that I know, like, right there, I really could have hit more pan if I wanted to. It's so, so thin right there, but I just really didn't want to. I have other matte shades that I love way more than this, and whenever I would do a look, I would kind of reach for this palette just for Naked to use as a transition color. I have so many transition colors, I didn't feel the need to experience pan the pan on this. I'm sure that eventually when I try to pan more things in this I will be expanding the pan but I'm just really really happy with my progress. So yeah that is everything for this. I know it was a quick last final check-in but I'm so so happy with my final progress. If you guys have any current project pans please let me know. I would love to watch them. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. The next video coming up is my first update for my 2017 project pan and I have some really exciting things that I finished so make sure you stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!